day, this is Jane and Weekday News. I'm Unique Francis and here now are our stories. News has come that another member of the Board of Jamaicans for Justice, JFJ, has resigned. Our news centre has been informed that Susan Evans has stepped down as a director. Her resignation follows the decision by former JFJ Executive Director Dr. Carolyn Gomes to resign as a director in the wake of controversy over a sex education program carried out by the group in six privately run children's homes. The youth ministry yesterday referred the contents of the manual to the children's advocates and the attorney general's department for their examination and recommendations. She has asked for advice on what legal recourse is available to the ministry and to the child development agency. A little over 1,000 persons will be hired when the soon-to-be-sold Sunset Jamaica Grand Hotel in St. Anne reopens under new management in early 2015. Our news center reported yesterday that Mexican hotel chain Palace Resorts will assume control of the 730-room property on July 7. It will close on September 1 for extensive renovations and upgrades before reopening as the Moon Palace Jamaica Grand. The current 400 workers will have their services terminated with the change in ownership but will be given the opportunity for re-employment by the new owner. Some of the workers will be retained for the remodeling as well as training programs in Jamaica and Mexico. Palace Resort says once the property is reopened and reaches full staff occupancy, it expects to employ approximately 1,020 workers. Now, Jamaica has been elected to chair the United Nations General Assembly's Committee on Disarmament and International Security. Permanent representative of Jamaica to the UN Ambassador Courtney Rattray was elected yesterday at a General Assembly meeting in New York. The meeting was held to elect the chairs and vice chairs of the six main committees in which the majority of the General Assembly's work will be done for the 69th session, which begins in September. The first committee, as it is commonly known, seeks solutions to the global challenges and threats to international peace and security. It addresses a range of issues on the international agenda, including nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation, as well as the illicit trade in small arms and light weapons. In regional news, the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, is reporting 165,999 suspected cases of chikungunya in the Caribbean as of mid this month. The PAHO report lists the Dominican Republic with 77,320 suspected cases, followed by Guadeloupe and Martinique, each with 35,000. The report notes that over 2,900 of the cases were confirmed. Martinique has 1,515 confirmed cases and Guadeloupe 1,328. There have been 14 confirmed deaths with 9 in Martinique. Chikungunya is a viral disease transmitted by mosquitoes. And those were the news for today. Do remember you can catch all our programs here as well as online at jamaicanewsnetwork.com. I'm Unique Francis and this is JNN News Worth Watching.